So here we are plussing or minusing fractions. And so remember when you plus and minus fractions, you have to get a common denominator. In previous videos, when we were multiplying or dividing, then we didn't need a common denominator. But as soon as you plus or minus, then you need it. And then what would you say that the common denominator is here at the bottom? So many people sometimes tell me that it's x, y, because they see a x and they see a y. However, we said in the previous video that if they look different at all, then they are completely different. And so your common denominator, in fact, is just going to be x plus y and x minus y. That is your common denominator. And so what is this part missing from its common denominator? Well, it still needs x minus y. And what is this part still missing? It's missing x plus y. And so if we enlarge this over here, well, we know that this part still needs to be multiplied with x minus y. And what you do at the bottom, you must do at the top. And then this part still needs to be multiplied with x plus y. And what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And so what we can now do is we can multiply these two together. So that's going to give us x squared minus xy over the common denominator, which is x minus y, x plus y. And then on the right hand side over here, we can multiply these together and that's going to give us xy plus y squared. And at the bottom, we're going to have x minus y, x plus y. Remember, you don't multiply out your common denominators. Now, because the common denominators are the same, we can simply put everything together like this. And then the top part, you can just write next to each other. So it'll be x squared minus xy plus xy plus y squared. And then if you can simplify at the top at all, then you must do so. So here we have a minus xy and here we have a plus xy. So those are going to cancel out completely. And so we're going to end up with a final answer of x squared plus y squared over x minus y and x plus y. Notice that we will never go and multiply out the denominator.